Hello. I can't really explain where I've been. Let's just say the last opening video I filmed, I was just a small string bean. Now I am a large string bean. Take of that what you will and welcome. Today we're gonna open these bad boys, or should I say, bad girls. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna make you suffer through relating this to a milk carton. I personally don't even think it looks like a milk carton. I thought of a Whoppers container, but I don't think this is filled with chocolatey goodness, so that's a bummer. <laughs> When these things first came out, everyone was like, well, I'm sacrificing my firstborn child for these. I bought this one and actually won this one at a tournament, so... Yay. I actually like this little package. I wish Pokemon would make more of these because I think they're just so cute and compact. And it comes with seven Pokemon booster packs? Okay, this is like pretty much an ETB. It's one pack short of an ETB, which is kind of bananas, so... Well, that's exciting. Before we open those though, I have mail. I have two packages that I wanna open first, so let's do that. All right, we're gonna open this big box first. This is from Pokemon Center that I ordered. And I'm so excited. Ah! <laughs> My thumb feels like I just dislocated it or something. Plus, I love this so much. I think it's absolutely adorable, but like proportionally, I don't know why his head is so tiny. <laughs> I actually don't understand why his head is that small. Why is it that small? <laughs> it's so high quality too. Look at the tree, the little berries. Oh my gosh, in the tree. These are super Super cute. I've been collecting the Gigantamax, Dynamax Pokemon. I had the Pikachu, the Gengar, the Eevee, and now this one. I think that's it. My collection is growing. I, <laughs> I just can't get over how tiny his head is. <laughs> wow, actually, he's kind of like the perfect prop for my background. A little bit of pizzazz. I love him. All right, now we have a very special package that my sister sent me. She drew this little ditto on there. How cute. And she was like, you have to open this on a stream. I don't know if she meant a stream or a video, so I'm just doing it in a video. It's gonna be on my channel forever. I'm very curious as to what this is. Oh, Katie, you went through the effort to wrap. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. See, she sent this to me for Christmas, uh, and I still haven't opened it. Oh my gosh, it's me and my sister. So cute. I'm so proud of you for being true to yourself and for doing what you love. I made this gift for you. It's as unique as you are. Love your big sister, Kate. Chanting, try it on, try it on. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's see what it is. That was such a cute card. Ooh. This is a hat. I'm done. It's got- it's got to be a hat, right? It's <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I actually love it! Oh my god. My head's being eaten. Buy a magic car. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. He's got the back fit. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Katie, for making this for me. <laughs> this actually made my day. Hey, even though I opened it super late, at least it's still super cold outside, so I can still rock it. All right. Let's go. Okay, let's get in to this box. Ooh. This is a deck box. I actually have one of these deck boxes. Um, I think Taco opened uh, one of these boxes, 
but it barely fits a deck. Like, this is tiny for a 60-card sleeved-up Pokemon deck, so you gotta just kind of, like, use it for other things. Go. Wow, they really smashed all these packs in here. Oh my gosh, is this seven packs? Oh, one's upside down. Three, four, five, six, yeah, that is seven packs smashed into a little uh, little box there. Did they have people like physically shove these packs into these boxes or is it just like a machine arm shoving them in? It's gotta be a person, right? <sighs> Boo question of the day. <laughs> now we have the spice of this product. This absolutely beautiful full art Marnie card. I must say Marnie is probably my least favorite trainer of all time. Um, I absolutely despise it. It's a good card for the sole reason that it gives you a new hand and also can disrupt your opponent by making their hand a lot smaller, thus hurting their chances that they're gonna have the cards they need. So it is a good card, it's very highly played, but I absolutely despise it. I can't tell you the amount of times I've gone first, had an incredible hand, ready for my next turn, they marty me into absolute trash, I brick, I brick, I brick, and then I lose the game. Like, every time I get marty it was so bad. I personally would take this card out of Pokemon if I had the choice. I absolutely hate the card, absolutely love the character. I mean, how could you not love this? Not even just the artwork, but just, this character in general, so cute. My Unite character kind of takes after Marnie a little bit. I also appreciate that it looks like she's in a hotel room, right? She's on the TV because she's so bad A and she's just like, just playing with my Morpeko. I don't care, you know? <laughs> It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Absolutely adorable. These sleeves are probably like ETV sleeves, most likely. I doubt that they are not matte. Yeah, they're mad. They're just like the ETB sleeve, so collectors probably gonna hate them because it kind of dulls the shine, dulls the light of your life of the, your hollow cards, unfortunately. And then we have some beautiful dice as well, special condition tokens. And then this super creepy coin. Wow, that is terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's just her face. She's just like, this creeps me out. Okay, let's start in on these packs. We have Vivid Voltage first. I did not pull a gold card or put a gold card up just because uh, there's so many different packs that we're opening. So my goal today is joy, happiness, satisfaction. <laughs> I'm already I'm already there with this clobble puss, okay? I love that artwork of the clobby. Little clobby boy. That Charmander is cute too. Whooper, wow, I have not opened cards in so long. Reverse hollow lichen rock and oh my gosh! Starting off with a super cute Pikachu V. Kind of brings a little bit of sadness that Pikachu VMAX never made it big time in the competitive scene of Pokemon. But hey, we still got a Pikachu V here that is an ultra cute card. And you know what? I remember a tournament that I casted where a very good player played Big Peak Pikachu V Max deck. It was just a complete troll deck and actually went almost to the final rounds with it. So long live Big Peak, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play a fun game. For every ultra rare and above, I'll try to do an impression of that Pokemon. So let's hope I don't get like so, like an Eternatus or something. <laughs> All right, don't roast me. Okay, I don't even think my voice is like high enough for this. One. Okay, listen, if you can do it better, at me on Twitter, voice record it. I want to hear it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Pikachu, Pika P, Pika P. That was my best effort, all right? Okay, please. Don't pull an Eternatus. I don't even know what that sounds like, the Eternatus, but it's probably some weird sound that I do not want to make today. All right, or poss possibly any day. Uh, <laughs> Rose Tower, Ursaring, Golette. Did you all get these Marnie boxes? And if so, did you pull some spice from them? Reverse Hollow Carnivine and... A Wigglytuff, oh my gosh. 
cuteness of the day. What would be a terrible Pokemon to get and try to make a sound for? Oh, Guzzlord, easy. I would just be like, <laughs> that one would be, that one would literally just be screaming pretty much. Um, which I'm not a huge fan of trying to do today. I'm not trying to lose my voice, all right? Reverse hollow, welcoming lantern. That's very nice. And a holographic greedance. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna put that baby in a sleeve because he goes into a binder of mine. Also, huge shout out to my Dragon Shield sleeves here today. Dragon Shield is one of our sponsors on the channel. I used to exclusively use Ultimate Guard and I love their products, but Unfortunately, I absolutely despise them as a company now, so I will never support them again. <laughs> but Dragon Shield have been the homies for the past couple of months. I've been trying out pretty much like all of their products, and they've been working really well for me, so I'm super happy about that. And I can't believe I remembered my sleeves today. Are you proud of me, everybody? Are you proud? I'm growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Grookey, score bunny, a push and a cute little snowball. A A Ron, snow run, venipede. Ooh, reverse holo dynatry hill. Yo, that's actually pretty sweet. Another reverse holo trainer. And monkey boy, my little monkey. This is a very popular card as well. It's not the holo version of it, but still a cutie. Chilling rain. Let's go, fist bump energy. That is what's up. So I'm actually filming this the day that Legends Arcus uh, has come out. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> <laughs> Crab Brawler. Um, I'm actually going to wait a little while to play Legends Arcus because I actually want to stream it. I've decided I haven't played a Pokemon game in forever, so this will be the first one I've streamed in a very long time. Uh, but I didn't want to spoil it for people who wanted to maybe watch the stream, so I'm going to wait probably like a week till I play it. <gasps> oh, my gosh. You can never have enough... Shadow Rider Calyrex V Maxes. You can never have enough. I actually think I only have a playset of these, so this would be my fifth one, I believe. Which, let's get this baby into a sleeve. My gorgeous purple Knight Rider. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, does that mean we have to try to make this sound? Yes, that is what that means. I don't even know what this Pokemon sounds like, so let's look it up. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. That's literally just the sound of a horse. <laughs> Why did I do this? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Retry, retry. <laughs> Why can't I do a horse sound? Nay! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that one. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I can't. All right. Obviously I can't make a horse sound. I accept that that is going to be my downfall in the Pokemon world. I can't make a horse sound. I'll never make it. Dang. Bisharp and <laughs> single strike energy. Yo, single strike scroll of scorn. Wow. Single strike partners there. Teruvi, <gasps> Carl the Teruvi, Horsey, Murkrow. Wow, I can't tell you how much I've missed opening Pokemon cards. I've taken such a long break and it's so good to be back. Reverse Hollow Sandaconda and a Primeape. Thank goodness. I'm actually kind of happy that um that wasn't an ultra. <laughs> After the horse thing. I'm scarred for life, okay? All right, this is our last pack and it's battle styles, so. <gasps> Ooh, and it's a fist bump, very nice. Tool jammer, I don't miss going against that card. Yeah, that's the other thing. I haven't really played Pokemon in a very long time either. Uh, I'm really excited for the new set coming out soon though, so I'm getting back into it, getting crazy, getting wild, playing PTCGO on a Friday night. Real wild. <laughs> And an Agislash as well. Uh, Agislash, Agislash. I never say this little goober's name correctly, so sorry about that, buddy. Oh, I forgot to mention as well 
in the beginning of my video, my website is fully launched now. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go through all my YouTube descriptions and add it in there. So if you've ever wanted stickers or pins that are super cute, I have them on there. You can also join our Patreon. I send two pins or sticker sets every month to our patrons as well. So you're welcome to join that too. It's actually cheaper to do that way if you plan on buying like multiple pins. Otherwise you could just buy them individually too, that's cool. Fist bump energy, but I mean, the website was so fun to work on. I'm so happy it's finally published to everybody now. And I package everything on my own too. And always include some little goodies in there. So thank you so much to everyone who wants to support my cute little website. Reverse Hello Xerneas and Metabrass. I don't know why the Darkness Ablaze pack is always upside down. Maybe it's so they could fit them into the box? I don't know. Let's get into this. I'm just hoping to not pull an E-turn. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna look at the E-turn sound and it's gonna be something real weird too. I know it. Dunsparce, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow, Mareep. I really like the artwork on this card. I don't know why. I think it's because a little cottage in the background. Just imagine the Mareep living in the cottage. <laughs> <laughs> and then a Tapu Koko holographic. Very, very nice. So this card is actually in a Sableye deck that I've been playing. I actually have this list on Poke Collect as well. Um, we have been doing the pre-made decks, so we just revamped that with new decks that are more relevant in the current format, but that will be changing soon because of the new set coming out, so be aware of that. But th that Tapu Koko is actually in the Sableye deck purely because it has zero retreat cost. Isn't that so funny? Like, it, you're never gonna fight with it. I mean, I guess technically you could draw two cards with it, but that's probably rarely ever gonna happen. But just because it has free retreat, he's the homie in that deck. So it's just kind of interesting how Pokemon decks are are built, what players come up with. It's really cool. So Ghastly, Cubfu, Hatena, Reverse Hollow Galarian Chestplate, and Savipers. <sighs> you know, out of all the things I miss about filming, that's a Viper card, doing a little sound. It's probably one of my favorites. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite things <laughs> that I do on this channel. Uh, grass energy, leaf energy makes more sense to me. Avery, Thwacky, Wacky Thwacky, Crabrawler, Lil Grookey, Lil Grooks, Scorbunny, Aaron. I feel like this is a rhythm again. Reverse Hole, Blitzel, and ooh, a holographic bee drill. Very nice artwork there. Three more packs left and yet to pull an ultra rare, which who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and not have to make any weird sounds <laughs> for the rest of this video. Uh, but thank you so much. I'll just say it right now. Thanks for coming to this video. Oh my gosh, another one. Reverse Hollow Dynatree Hill and a galley non-holographic. Yeah, thank you so much for everyone that has come to this video today. I know it's been a while since I made a video, so I appreciate you checking back in. I miss opening Pokemon, I miss playing Pokemon, and I miss making content so much too. So I have a lot of things that I've been thinking about making for so long um, as far as content goes. So I'm excited to see what I actually come up with with some of the things I'm thinking about. But I think it's gonna be a whirlwind of 2022, let's just say that. Reverse Hollow Mind Shao. I remember playing with this in the pre-release, so that's kind of cool. And a Marowak non-holographic as well. Okay, last pack of this video. I know it was a shorter video. Well, I guess we'll see what it comes out to after editing, but it should be relatively short. Um, <laughs> Crawdunce and Didi. Let's see if we have to end on me making a weird sound. Sizzlypeed! Oh, I miss my little sizzly boy. So cute. Mankey. Ponyard. Blitbug. Reverse Holo Marowak. Yo, that's what's up. So now we have the regular and then the Reverse Holo Rare. And... <laughs> no! No! Okay, so I'm super hyped about this because this is a very great card. <sighs> Now I gotta attempt this one sound. Oh no. Should we make this a thing in the rest of my videos? I actually don't know if I can stomach that, honestly. We'll see how this one goes. Let's try this sound and then we'll see if we'll repeat that. Maybe if you if you want me to continue making 
terrible Pokemon sounds? Leave that in the comments below. <laughs> okay, that one's not that bad. That one's not that bad. That's from the anime, so let's let's give it a whirl. Arshifu! <laughs> Arshifu! <laughs> Why do I look so mad when I do it? Wow, so what's funny about this is I got two cards that I had actually been looking for forever. I didn't want to have to purchase, but then I had to purchase because I just didn't open the things that I should have just opened. But you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. I am now going to start opening product off camera. I don't care if I pull super spice. I need to open product off cam because it's time to start opening product for me too, you know? Not just for content, but for me, for Boo. And then we're also gonna do Legends Arceus streams as well. I'm gonna wait probably like a week or so, um, just so I don't spoil it for anybody else who wants to watch a stream. I'm so excited. I appreciate you all coming back to check out a video of mine. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, my everlasting love to all my patrons. I'm so sorry about my chalkboard lately. I switched up my lighting in the room and now it just erases like what I draw on my chalkboard. So I don't know a solution to that. If you have any ideas, let me know. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Or she